Hi everybody, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for popping in. Um, <clears throat> today's card came about due to um, a challenge from one of my teammates in Stamping Birds. And, and we challenge each other on a regular basis. And um, Beck came up with a something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue theme which had me scratching my head for a while. Um, and then the cogs began whirring and I, I began to have a bit of an idea. Um, and this is the prototype that I made. Um, but I'm not happy with the with the um, sizings or anything. So this is just a, just a prototype, as I said. So I decided that I would go for something new, would be the designer series paper. So I'm going to use some of this gorgeous paper blooms, which is free with celebration for a £45 um, order. And I haven't got much left. I've only got bits really, um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't seen that, um, it's here in the celebration brochure. And it's this one here. It's really, really pretty. But there's some absolutely fabulous design series paper in this in this one. And some um, really cute stamp sets. The Darling Donkeys, which everybody seems to be raving about. I like it, but it's not really my thing. Um, there's another stamp set there. Some more designer series paper. I really like this one. More stamp sets. This is my absolute favourite designer series paper. It's called Flower and Field. And I just think it's gorgeous. Um, and I've got some more of that coming in my, um, my order. Soon, I hope. This is a, a rather nice stamp set that I've got on order as well. But this is um, for a £90 order. Because it's a it's a double stamp it's it's a large stamp set. There's seventeen stamps in that, and it's two step stamping. It's really pretty. And then there's another ninety pound purchase one, which is this really pretty strawberry themed or berry themed paper, um, and another stamp set. So there's lots of nice freebies to be going um, till the end of February. So that was my new the designer series paper something old was one of my very 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 favorite stamp sets butterfly gala um and i've had this one for, for a good couple of years now so i've got a horrible feeling it might disappear in the next annual catalog because it's been around for a while but i absolutely love it and i've used it loads and loads um as you can see from the state of the stamps inside much loved um so that's the old something old something new designer series paper something borrowed was the um card fold i've not done one of these before um and it's called a book binding fold um and i borrowed this idea from the lovely jan b um so i'll put um jan's a link to jan's channel on my blog um but go and check her out she makes some absolutely gorgeous cards so i borrowed this idea from her so that's something old something new something borrowed and blue will be the colors that i use in the card okay um and i'm also going to use these um my very favorite dies the stitched so sweetly dies I think I must use those at least once, twice a week. Fabulous dies. Right, so let me show you how to make it. First of all, you need a piece of cardstock, which measures four and one eighth by 11 and three quarters. I just need to chop a, a little bit off that, I forgot. Just bear with me a minute. And I'll just chop a quarter of an inch off that. There we go. 
go. So as I said, it's four and one, one eighth by 11 and a half. And we need to score it at five and three quarters. And then six and three quarters. And that's all the scoring. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll fold and burnish. We'll fold that one back. I hope you can see okay, it's um it's really sunny day and the sun is shining right in my eye, so I've closed the blinds. I think you can see okay. I hope so anyway. So there's the card base and those that bit gets stuck together and that's why it's called a book binding card. I've seen these about before but I'd never tried one until I saw Jan's card this morning so I thought I'll give that a whirl. So I'm going to use some Seaside Spray cardstock. Now this is um, this is one of the 2019-2021 in colours. So this will disappear when the new annual catalogue comes out in May. So if you like this one, you need to stock up quick before it disappears because um, as soon as the new colours are announced, like, it will fly and there won't be any to be had anywhere. So I've got two pieces which are four and five eighths by four inches. And those are gonna go one there and one on the inside. And I've got some designer series paper and I'm gonna use this one. Got this one on the back, it's really pretty, isn't it? But I wanted the blue. So this is four and a half by three and seven eighths. So that'll go on there and that one will go on there. So we'll glue those down. So I hope you're all doing all right. Here in the UK, we're still in lockdown. It feels like where I live particularly, we've been in lockdown forever. Um, because I live in the Greater Manchester area, so we got locked down when a lot of the rest of the um, the country was out again because our figures were so bad. Um, so it does feel like we've been in lockdown forever and ever. So I hope you're all doing all right. I hope you're all staying safe and well and all your families are okay too. It's hard not seeing them though, isn't it? I had um, a socially distanced coffee with my daughter and granddaughters on the doorstep the other day. And that's about as close as I've been to them for months, which is hard. But we need to stay safe. So I'll do the one on the front first. So this is going to go on there like that. So I'm just going to glue this one down. So just leave a tiny border all the way around the outside like that. And we'll do the same with this one. Line this one up close to this end because don't forget this one, this bit's going to be glued down. Like that. And then we've got another piece for the spine here. Just going to go there like that. With that on the top. So that piece is, I think that piece is seven eighths. Yeah, that piece is seven eighths. 
So this piece must be three quarters, yeah. So we'll add that. To the spine piece. Make sure it lines up the other piece on the main card like that. There we go. So then I've got a piece of ribbon which I'm going to put Round here, I think. So just keep that flat. About the same amount both sides. So we'll glue this down. Wasn't very clever, was it? So you're trying to make sure it stays where it is. That's it. And then I'll do my best to tie a bow on camera now. I watch other people and they just tie it really, really easily and I seem really ham-fisted. I think it's because I've got such fat fingers. I think I might put a glue dot under that and try and keep that still. While I faff about with the rest of it. And if it doesn't play, We'll be getting a knot. All right, come on. Glue dot won't come off. There we go. go. Pull that side in a bit. Pull that side in a bit. Can't get a hold of it. There we go, that'll do for now. So I'll chop the bits off that in a minute. So to decorate it, <clears throat> what I thought I'd do I've cut out one of the Stitch So Sweetly rectangles. I'm going to put one on the inside for you to write your message on and one on the outside. I'm going to stamp on this one. But then I thought I've cut some pieces off another piece of the designer series paper. And I thought we could decorate the front with these perhaps, maybe like that. So let's have a look at the um, sentiments. We've got, thank you so very much. You've been on my mind, a little note, the good things are better with you and hello beautiful. I think I'll try the thank you so very much because I always need thank you cards. 
and then maybe the good things in life are better with you on the inside. Let's have a look. Let's see, will it fit? So if I was going to put that up there and that over here, yeah, that would fit in the middle, wouldn't it? So, find my stamp and pierce mat to, um, what have I done with, there it is, because it's photopolymer and I haven't got anything underneath. And I think I'll stamp in Night of Navy. Go with the designer series paper. So I'll try and get that in the middle. And hope it's straight. That's not bad. And then for the other one. the font in this um, stamp set too. So we'll have the ones to the inside first. So I don't like to write a lot in my card so there's enough room to write Dear Fred, Love Ethel at the bottom isn't there? I'll we'll quit slurping my coffee. So we'll just stick that on the inside. All the measurements for this card will be over on my blog at craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com. It was easy for me to say later on. Um, put one of those on as well. And there's even less room to write. Yeah, go on. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't already got a catalogue and you want one, just drop me a message and I'll get one out to you. If you haven't already got a demonstrator. Um, if you're interested in joining the team, there's a fantastic joining offer on at the moment, um, which is the usual £130 worth of product from either of the catalogues for £99. And there's also, um, you get free shipping with that um and you get five packs of um some new designer series paper that's coming out in the new annual catalog um you get five packs of that which is worth over 50 pounds so you're actually getting 180 pounds worth of products for 99 pounds bargain and you don't have to sell and you don't have to make videos and you don't have to write blogs, but you can if you want. You can just um, become a demonstrator for the discount. And that's what I did originally. Um, but then I took early retirement from work and had lots of time on my hands. So I decided to do a bit more. on that side. I want better on that one. No, nope, don't like it up there. Or should I just have the two small ones? I think maybe we'll just have the two small ones. That might that's a bit bigger thing actually. So I'll just glue those on. Just put a dab of glue in the middle. This one. There we go. What do you think? And I think I'm going to leave um, 
I shall chop a bit of it off. My ribbon scissors. But not too much. What do you think? I think that's quite pretty. I prefer it to the prototype that I did. So thanks very much, Beck, for the challenge. Um, but don't come up with those too often. <laughs> it had my uh, had me scratching my head for a while. Uh, and thanks very much to Jan B for um, allowing me to borrow her design. So don't forget, all the information will be over on my blog, craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com, later on today. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd be really grateful if you could click on the... Um, red button below and click on the bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.